Welcome back to Bogey Lanes in East Brookfield for the quarter-final match in this month's Western New England Candlepin Association Pro Tour event. This match is going to feature Phil Clough, who is fresh off a win over Tom Bishop, versus Dave Dupuy, who is the number three seed in this month's uh, event. He's having qualified third. Dave is going to being the higher seed, he has chosen to start on the right lane, lane 6, and Phil Clough will start on lane 5. Dave Dupuy, as you know from watching these tournaments in the past, is the reigning bowler of the year on the Western New England Tour, and he's off to another excellent start this year, having won one event and finish second in another one, so he's uh, certainly up there in the Bowler of the Year standings to uh, possibly repeat that honor this year. And he makes a nice try on that 5-10 split with Wood, but doesn't quite get it. So it'll be a 10 box to start off for Dave Dupuy, and Phil Clough is going to also record the 10. Phil in that match against Tom Bishop had a 122 versus Tom's 115. And Phil was able to... And there is a strike by Phil Clough. Let's have a look at this one. Phil Clough is testimony to the fact that you do not have to throw the ball extremely hard to... Uh, to carry a lot of pins in candle pin bowling. This ball just crushes the 1-3 pocket and there's just no question that that's going to put 10 pins on the deck. So Phil has a strike in the second frame. Dave Dupuy, after throwing another good first ball, uh, left a split that was really didn't have much to look at. So he'll be open again in the second. He's, all, he's uh, got a 10 box. Dave, as I may not have mentioned, he bowls out of Mohegan Bowl in Webster. And also, uh, as you can see on his shirt, Dave bowls out of Metro Bowl in Peabody in the Friday Night Traveling Pro League. And that was a tough break for Dave. He had an, an 8 drop and a 4-7, but a wood that was kind of a little bit far out front, and I think he went a little bit too far to the left, so he didn't quite carry that 4-pin, and he is going to have to settle for his third straight 10 box. Meanwhile, Phil Clough with 7 on the strike and 7 in the box. So Phil has a 4-pin lead after 3 frames, 34-30. Dave again is on the head pin. He has just been pounding the head pin and not having much to show for it. He's got seven and he's looking at the three, four, and six with no wood. Phil Clough has got one, two, four, and nine. Nice try by Dave Dupuy, trying to cut that three pin over into the four, but he doesn't quite do it. So he and Phil are both going to be open in the fourth. Dave with yet another 10 box. And Phil will take an 8. So that trims two pins off of Phil Clough's lead. Which is now just two pins to uh, 42 to 40 through 4. Dave Dupuy with another excellent first ball in that 1-3 pocket, but he's just a little bit high. And again, he has not much to shoot at. He's got the 4-5-7, couple of pieces of wood, but neither of them really looks terribly promising to uh, 
to convert this. He could try and use the left wood and maybe snap it off the wall. Or he could use the other wood, and he elects to try the one in front of the 4-7. And he, he does get the 4-7, and seven, but the 5-pin remains. Phil Clough had a 7-10 split, as you can see, and tried to use the wood. Wasn't able to get the 7. So it'll be a, a 10 for Dave and a, a 9 for Phil. So we will take a look at the scoreboard. And you can see it's a one pin lead for Phil Clough over Dave Dupuy, 51 to 50 through five as they will switch lanes and Phil will go over to lane six. Well, Dave will finish on lane five. Usually the higher seed opts to do that, start on the right lane and finish on the left. Phil Clough with an eight drop, leaving the six ten with a couple of planks in front of it. Dave Dupuy with seven, leaving the two four five. That's a spare for Phil Clough in the sixth. And Dave goes by the two pin. Still leaving the two and five with a piece of wood there. And he's got a ten, so that's six consecutive ten boxes for Dave Dupuy. He's got sixty through six. Phil Clough with sixty-one plus the fill ball. So he has an opportunity to extend his lead. Dan Phil with a nine drop. Again, an unusual nine drop. He hit the one two pocket and the ball was deflected around the four pin. But in the end, the four is all that he's left with. That's very similar to the one that he had in the previous string against Tom Bishop. But this time he's able to push that wood back and make the spare for his second mark in a row. And Dave just doesn't quite catch that six pin. So that's sometimes what happens when you have some tough breaks off head pin hits and you, you start leaving splits. And finally, when you have a couple of spare leaves, they can be tough to make because you really feel that you have to make them. And that, that may be affecting Dave a little bit. Certainly can't fault the way he's throwing the ball. And there's another nice pocket hit. He's got seven, eight, nine, just leaving the seven pin. Phil Clough with an eight on the spare, and he's got the seven nine with a nice piece of wood. Let's see if he can use it. He does. Spare by Phil Clough in the eighth. And Dave Dupuy is able to get on the board with a spare in the eighth, and that was pretty imperative at this point. And here's another look at the spare by Phil Clough. Very cleanly he converts the seven nine with that nice piece of wood. So Phil is leading by 18, 98 to 80, and each guy has a, uh, a spare to fill in the eighth. So Phil has kind of a commanding lead at this point. And he drops eight, so he has 106 through eight. Meaning that Dave Dupuy has a lot of work to do. Wow, and uh, that's another nice ball in, in the one-two pocket. A little bit thin, but he really it's a tough break, leaving the five, six, seven, nine, ten with no wood. That is really a tough break for Dave Dupuy. He's got to be wondering what he did to deserve all this bad luck. And he was probably trying to kick the six pin off the wall and, and get the spare to, uh, to go that way with this sort of lively action here at, at bogey lanes. You get a lot of sidewall action and he may have been trying to make it that way. In any case, it's a nine box for Dave. So Phil Clough is leading by 22 pins, which means that he is almost certainly going to move on to the semifinals against Richie Myrick. And well, yeah, that's going to make it official. Phil Clough will be the winner of this match against Dave Dupuy.
Dave will finish fourth in this event at Bogey Lanes and WNECA Tour, and that will help with Dave's position in the Bowler of the Year standings, but that's small consolation in uh, comparison to the kind of frustrating match he's had here against Phil Clough. That's going to be a 126 for Phil Clough, and Dave will add four to that spare for a 108. And you'll see the final score is Phil Clough, 126, Dave Dupuy, 108. Phil Clough will move on to the semifinals against Rich Myrick.